Welcome. It's going to be a great day. Now, here is a lettering technique I was inspired to create by Scott McCloud. I am only showing you this with one balloon, but this technique is to be used with the whole page and not one balloon at a time. First, create a layer called balloons. Add a balloon shape with a white fill only. Make it a rounded, rectangular shape. We will go back to how to do that later, promise. Add your text. Move the text below the balloon. Select a balloon. Then go to Object, Text Wrap. Adjust the text to fit. Use Control Y so you can see the text. Because of the text wrap, you are easily and quickly getting into text to fit into the balloon shape. No more guessing, no more fiddling around trying to fit and get a pleasing shape to your text and balloon shape. This will speed up your production so much. It will help speed up the process of getting your words arranged in that ever so pleasing diamond shape. Okay, caution. I am making it look easy here in this demo. However, some pieces of text have their challenges. Some may not fit right away. However, the more you do it, the easier it becomes for you to wrap the text inside the balloon. Also, some tweaking may be needed because of the nature of the sentence structure. You may not want lines to break at certain points. Okay, back to the demo. Duplicate balloons layer and rename it text. Make balloons layer invisible. Unfill the balloons on the text layer. Delete the text on the balloons layer. Now select the balloons layer. Use the target circle to select all. Do not drag and select all. Use the target circle only to do this. Now you must never deselect this layer throughout the rest of this process. If this layer becomes deselected at any point, nothing that happens afterwards will work. Choose appearance panel. Add a new stroke. My stroke weight here is nine points because this is a very large balloon for the purpose of this demo, but your stroke weight will be two or three points. Move this stroke below the contents. Make the fill white. Keep the balloon selected. Add tails and more balloons as needed with the pen tool. Now we are seeing the next piece of magic happen. Everything you add on this layer now has the attributes of the first balloon you created, and they are all editable. You can join balloons together. You can add tails or connectors. You can move the tails from one side of the balloon to another. 
and they all join together as if the shapes were joined. However, this join is non-destructive and comes in very handy when changes need to be made, such as, the character on the left is speaking, not the one on the right. Can you change it? How many letterers feel me right now? And if thought balloons make a comeback, here's an easy non-destructive way to create them. I miss thought balloons. Let's take a closer look at the tails because there's a big problem here. The tails are squared off and this is not a good aesthetic look for comics. We want a pointy tail. So don't worry, there's a very quick and easy solution to get a pointed tail. We are going to the stroke panel and we are going to change the miter limit from four to 75. Is it miter or meter? I don't know. 75 usually works depending on the angle and stroke weight of your tails. You may need to use 50 or maybe even go higher, but 75 should work for most cases. And voila, we have a pointy tail we can move to any location on our balloon. Now, I've only shown you one balloon, but when you do your pages, you're going through this process with all of your balloons on one page. So I'm going to briefly recap showing this on one page. And if you're really advanced or have a computer with lots of memory and RAM, you can do this on many pages at once.
I promise to show you how to make rounded rectangular balloons, and I'm a man of my word. Now, this elliptical shaped balloon is not very good looking. It just screams amateur hour. So whenever you see balloons of this shape in a comic book, the person did not know what they were doing. And if you're selecting a letterer and you see this in their samples, you should not hire them. You want round, oval, and rounded rectangular shaped balloons in your comics, not these elliptical shapes. That ends my public service announcement. Choose the direct selection arrow and then shift click on each of the four quadrants of the word balloon. Select the scale tool and click in the center of the balloon. Then drag to pull the curves out ever so slightly. If you go too much, you get a pucker or a bloat. This technique I learned from Comic Craft. Try out this method, let me know what you think, or if you have any questions. Or maybe you have a way to improve upon it. Let me know in the comments below.
So that's all for today. If you've learned something today, if this has value to you, please like, share, and comment. I'd like to hear from you. And subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And remember, just create.